Hi everyone, my name is Chef Alexis Bouillet. And I am Chef Manuel Bouillet. And today we are introduce you the Mangue Gâteau de Savoie. Then if you're ready, let's get started. So this is the first step before to do our uh, Gâteau de Savoie mix, we need to prepare our mold. I used a very specific mold that represents also like a mountain, so it will be uh, perfect for this kind of applications. So first of all, I'm going to apply some uh, soft uh, butter into the mold, following, and then over here we have the Castanel sugar. Castanel sugar will bring you, of course, some taste, but some texture. It is really important to apply it, that will make the highlight of your cake. So of course I choose the castanut brown sugar, which will go very well with the rum mangue. So we apply a nice and thin uh, layer all around the mold, and it will help us to stick nicely the castanut sugar. Okay, so we have a nice and thin layer of butter everywhere. And now let's start with the sugar. So we simply roll around and make sure the sugar is applied everywhere. We don't want to have too, too much, but we just want to have a thin layer everywhere. And at the end, we we'll just gently tap the mold to remove the excess. We will now place this mold on the side and we we'll start our Gâteau de Savoie mixture. So now we are going to go for the step number two, just after spreading uh, the butter and the castanet into our mold, we'll do the Savoie cake. So I also want to share with you about the story about the Savoie cake. So it is originally from the east side of France and it is composed mainly about the castanet, the sugar and some uh, butter and egg white also for the, to get something very, very light. We are going to make a very light meringue. And also to finish and to enhance the flavor of uh, this Savoie cake, we will use the liquid vanilla extract and also the rum mangue. So we'll start first into our mixing bowl with egg white. Just make sure the egg white are at room temperature. It would be much more convenient for the beading process. And on the side, I will start to beat them with castanet sugar. Over here, the castanet sugar will really help you to have this such a caramelized uh, flavor. So, we really recommend you to use this one instead of regular sugar. Okay, so now our egg whites are correctly beaten with the castanet. You see we have a nice and shining uh, texture. It doesn't need to be fully whipped because we want to keep something soft. It will be much more convenient to add uh, the, the flour. So the flour will be the next step. So make sure that you sift really well your flour before incorporating it. And then on the side we will have as well our melted butter. The butter should be melted around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. And then on the side we will finalize the recipe with the vanilla bean paste and of course the mangue rum. So we have the flour mix and also the butter. I'm going to incorporate the butter first in two times just to dissolve my uh, beaten egg white and following by the flour and we'll finish by the rum and liquid vanilla extract. So the mix of castanet sugar and the vanilla and to finish with the rum mangue will really enhance the, the final flavor of this uh, travel cake. So as you can see, we have a nice and soft uh, texture for our mix. It is smooth and you can see also the, some dots of uh, vanilla and, uh, and the smell is, uh, is really nice. Amazing. Yeah. So as we said earlier, our mold is ready with the, some butter and also a nice crust of uh, castanet sugar. So we have a nice contrast between the outside, slightly crunchy with the castanet and the moist uh, sponge in the inside.
So we we'll boil 300 grams per mold. So it is now time for the baking process. We are gonna bake it at 170 degrees for about 20 minutes. And the idea is also to bake it directly on the wire rack. At least the heat will go also up and down. So you have a very smooth uh, heat and you have a nice golden brown color everywhere. After 20 to 25 minutes at 170 degrees, it is now time to unmold our cake. So we just unmold it and cool it down at room temperature. It is now time to decorate our cake. So just a simple decoration. We just uh, place like a disc uh, on the top of the cake and I'm just gonna sprinkle a thin layer of icing sugar on the side. But this kind of cake is quite simple. You don't want to add anything else on the top. Like this is just the beauty of the cake itself and that's why we have such a beautiful mold. So the idea is to represent the snow in the mountain and the cake is already the mountain uh, itself. So this is our version of the Gâteau de Savoie. We have a very nice uh, crust with the castanet sugar and a very moist uh, inside the sponge with uh, rum mangue and vanilla. And you will see, you will get something very caramelized on the outside and super moist uh, in the inside. So hopefully you will enjoy this cake. So now it is testing time. You can really feel the crust from outside. Yeah. Still slightly warm. I can feel like the texture is like a cotton inside. Mm, love it. It reminds me of my childhood memory. This cake is really, really soft. The flavor of mangue is really uh, amazing. We don't feel the, the alcohol side, however, we feel like the flavor side of it. It's over and not too sweet, huh? no? No. The cake itself is not too sweet, but the outside brings some crunchiness and slightly more sweetness. Definitely perfect for the afternoon snack. Definitely.